The two-part film, criticized by the royal family, received 776 complaints following the first episode, which examined the period after the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. The second episode, following the last three years, received 19 complaints. The documentary included suggestions stories about the Duchess of Sussex had been leaked by courtiers. It also examined the relationship between the Duke of Sussex, 37, and the Duke of Cambridge, 39. In a statement given to the BBC, and shown at the end of the programme, Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace said, a free, responsible and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often it is overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources that are presented as facts and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility. However, the BBC has previously claimed it had approached Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace and Clarence House. The program was fronted by Today presenter, Amol Rajan, 38. After the documentary aired last month, Mr. Rajan apologized for rude and immature comments he made about the royal family 10 years ago. Mr. Rajan described the Queen's Diamond Jubilee as a celebration of mediocrity. In a column for The Independent on the Diamond Jubilee in January 2012, Mr. Rajan accused the Duke of Edinburgh of being a racist buffoon and described Prince Charles as scientifically illiterate. Writing on Twitter on December 2, Mr. Rajan said, in reference to very reasonable questions about some foolish commentary from a former life, I want to say I deeply regret it. I wrote things that were rude and immature and I look back on them now with real embarrassment, and ask myself what I was thinking. I would like to say sorry for any offense they caused then or now. While the BBC did receive close to 1,000 complaints, in April the broadcaster received 109, 71 objections for its coverage of Prince Philip's death. Responding to the complaints, the BBC said, the princes and the press explored the relationship between the media and the monarchy, focusing on the younger royals. It included interviews with a range of print and broadcast reporters who follow the royals closely and heard their views on the relationship the press has with the royal family and what influences the stories that are published. We conducted more than 80 hours of interviews and sought views from a wide variety of contributors. This included approaches to Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace and Clarence House for comment or for a representative to be interviewed for this series. A joint statement issued by them was included in both...